Welcome to the first debate of the 2024 presidential campaign live at Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee. This decline is not inevitable. It's a choice. We need to send Joe Biden back to his basement and reverse American decline. Joe Biden has weakened this country at home and abroad. Now is not the time for on the job training. We don't need to bring in a rookie. We don't need to bring in people without experience. We need to bring Let us be honest as Republicans. I'm the only person on the stage who isn't bought and paid for, so I can say this. The climate change agenda is a hoax. The climate change agenda is a hoax. And we have to declare independence for it. I've had enough already tonight of a guy who sounds like ChatGPT standing up here. And the last person in one of these debates, Brett, who stood in the middle of the stage and said, What's a skinny guy with an odd last name doing up here was Barack Obama, and I'm afraid we're dealing with the same type of amateur standing in stage tonight. I am unapologetically pro-life, not because the Republican Party tells me to be, but because my husband was adopted and I had trouble having both of my children, so I'm surrounded by blessings. When it comes to a federal ban, let's be honest with the American people and say it will take 60 Senate votes, it will take a majority of the House. So in order to do that, let's find consensus. To be honest with you, Nikki, you're my friend, but uh, consensus is the opposite of leadership. When the Supreme Court returned this question to the American people, they didn't just send it to the states only. It's not a states only issue, it's a moral issue. Don't make women feel like they have to decide on this issue when you know we don't have 60 Senate votes in the House. 70 percent of the American people support legislation but to ban abortion of the after Senate a baby is capable not. of experiencing okay. pain. If former President Trump is convicted in a court of law, would you still support him as your party's choice? Please raise your hand if you would. Whether or not you believe that the criminal charges are right or wrong, the conduct is beneath the office of President of the United States. I chose the Constitution, and I always will. I had no right to overturn the election, and Kamala Harris will have no right to overturn the election when we beat them in 2024. Thank you, Vice President Pence.